Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today. And what we're going to talk about is my personal favorite missions in the Nexus. Now, these are the daily missions that you get one a day, and they can um, accrue up to, I think, three of them. And you see over my shoulder there on the right-hand side of the screen, you see those two bouncing circles. That shows that I have two available missions to run. If there's a weekend mission, it'll be up top where that fella's standing over there. All right, so let's take a look at these, and these are going to be in no particular order, and I will run through them even if they're not for Quicksilver at the time, because these missions that you see listed here will rotate and change, and sometimes they'll be at the top, sometimes they'll be at the bottom. So here's one of my absolute favorites, and that is Hunt Dangerous Pirates. It is one of the simplest missions. You never have to get your butt out of the ship, and you can just go out there and kill some pirates. Now, you're going to need a decent starship for this. You know, you don't want to you don't want to have your junker in here. You don't want to be in your hauler, so you got to come prepared, and a lot of these missions require you to have some sort of preparation for them. Um, it's good to have a decent multi-tool. All right, so we're going to have to look here on the uh, screen there, and there we see the little skull icon. That's going to lead us to the pirate activity. Now this ship's decked out with a fantastic uh, infra knife. So we'll make quick work of these pirates. I also have a squadron of four uh, starships to assist me in this. Not most of the time they just get in my way, but hey, they're cool looking, right? So we'll go ahead and I'll just show you a little bit of this one. And then we'll move on to the next mission. But just to give you an idea of how quick it is. This is very similar to the mission you get in any of the regular space stations. Come in on here. And there's two or three waves. I don't remember if there's three, but I know there's more than one wave involved in this. And it's basically you just gotta whoops. Kill some pirates. Want a good infra knife? Alright, let's move on to the next one. So, it was three waves of ships that we had to fight off. The third one having four ships, the second one having three, and the first one, I think it was just two. Nice and simple. Cash it in. Bingo. I would have 400 Quicksilver if that was up at the uh, top mission right now. Let's see what else we have to offer here. Raiding a Planetary Depot. That one's super simple as well. In fact, that's probably one of the easiest of them all. This one does require you to land and get out of your ship. Uh, and you're going to need a little pugnium for this one, so make sure you have some pugnium in your inventory. You're going to need 100 of it. I only have 75. But I got some on my freighter, I believe, right? Yep, got some on my freighter, so I can just have it down and now we got more than enough pugnium so you need that so just got to leave the uh, anomaly and all these can be done with uh, other players if you want to make things easier sometimes sometimes it really does and sometimes you end up a dead weight as a fellow player like sometimes the pirate ones can be a little challenging if you have more than one player Especially if you're not close to each other because the pirates won't be anywhere near you. And then you've got to, uh, you know, go f find them, which is going to be a pain in the butt. All right. What we're looking for an indicator on the map. we got the indicator. And there it is. See that? A little Sentinel thing, compromised facility. We're going to head right down to it. <laughs> now, that's an approximate location, so when you get close... Keep your eyes open and look for it. This will save you a little bit of time and aggravation. And you can hit the scanner. As you see, I picked up this over here, which is very close by. And this is this looks like one of those facilities. We're going to land here. I'm sure this is it. It won't show the indicator until we hop out. And it says we're here. And yep, that's it. See? So we're going to need to bust open the door here. So I'll pop out my... Uh, wonderful pulse spitter and just mow it down. If you don't have the Pugnium, 
you will uh, start a fight with some sentinels in the area so you can just kill them and collect the pugnium from them. You don't have to worry about locating any other uh, otherwise. So go ahead, we try to touch the display, it doesn't like it. Slather our hands with pugnium. That sounds awful. If these guys get in here, you can just kill them in here with no uh, repercussions, really. Let's see, I'll get some uh, pugnium back, or projectile ammunition in that case, and a little pugnium too. Here's another one. Quick work of them, right? And just hang out in here until the sentinels stop searching. We've got two seconds left. And there we go. So we got a location given to us. Sentinel Depot. Again, it helps to have a, a decent gun, but I've done this with just a basic, uh, the most basic gun. Here it is, eight seconds away. I'm gonna slow down when you get close to it, and I just start shooting. See that all the depots are destroyed? That mission is pretty much done. It says, uh, defeat or hide from Sentinel forces. I don't even bother, I just leave the atmosphere. Summon the anomaly, and I'm out of here. Usually when I'm doing these things, I'm doing three or four of them in a row on the weekend to gather up a bunch of clicks over real quick, so I try to jump through these as quick as possible. If you want to engage Sentinels for Pugnium, Glass, and all that other stuff, feel free to do it. Otherwise, just come on in. Now, one thing I've had trouble with sometimes, and you want to watch this, is this one worked out okay. See the objective complete in the upper left, but it will tell you... Or sometimes it'll take a moment for it to catch up with the fact that you beat the objective. And I've gone up there thinking I'm going to close a mission. Like, see, he doesn't have the little sentinel on up there. It just appeared. So sometimes that'll happen. And it'll just have leave mission right down here instead of complete mission because it hasn't registered the fact that it's done. So that's not good. So you want to watch out. And all you got to do is wait and it will catch up, you know, if you've done everything you're supposed to do. There's another one down. So what's an, oh, look at that. Raid a planetary depot. We should have waited. Uh, purging the infestation, the hungering. So this one, uh, you, the first time I played this, the first couple times I was like, ooh, this one's a little challenging. This requires you to go to an infested planet with those big worm creatures that come out of the ground, and um, you got to kill several of them. I think it's five. Normally, I don't know if that number changes, but that's the number that comes to mind. I just did it last night, and it was five. We're going to go down to that planet. Uh, but yeah, normally you jump out of ship, you find uh, where those creatures are, you find this weird growth that they uh, spawn around, hop out of your ship, shoot them, and then those uh, monstrosities come out and attack you, and you got to run like hell and all that. But last night I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to try... Um, I'm going to try something different. Here it is. So I never got out of my ship. So we, I just flew around until I saw the little indicator on my uh, compass at the top. And you'll see it. It's a little red indicator. That looks, it's got that curved uh, worm onto it. And I slowed down, flew in close. The worms popped out of the ground. I just sat there and pumped them full of uh, infra knife uh, ammunition. And down they went. I still get the tendrils from it. I don't get the little things they drop. But really, I'm not there for that, you know. I mean, if you want to collect all that, you can get out and, and do it your way. Let's go find something. All right, so here we are. We're going to just kind of take our time a little bit. And this sometimes can take a minute or two to find these things. They're not everywhere. As you see, these planets a lot of times are really hard to navigate with these big canyons and tall mountains. It can be uh, a stressful endeavor, especially if uh, you don't have a very, you know, if you're fairly unleveled on your exosuit and it's a uh, jetpack and your stamina and all that. It can, it can wear you down traveling one of these. And if you're constantly jumping in and out of your ship, then you're running out of power in it. You gotta, you know, you gotta have to fuel it up, and yeah. Oh, oh, oh! We saw one. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? 
Here it is, it's this way. All right, it's right below us. Let's get down low. I'll show you what it looks like. Why don't I see it? Oh, there it is. Okay, you see the creatures just popped out of the ground. See, it looks like that bulb right there sticking out of the ground just to the right of my ship. I'm trying to hold it steady, but there's the worms coming out of the ground. So we'll just take off, get a little distance, and then come in and tear them up. There's another one. Could be a little clunky sometimes with the ship. Use a ship that's got good uh, maneuverability on it. Oh, we got to do eight of them this time, huh? All right, well, we got four that time. And usually these things spawn four or five at each location, so we got half of the ones we need. We're going to move on to the next one. And I think I just saw one. Did I just see one? Yep, this way. This one might be... There it is right there. See it? Bingo. And here come the worms. Looks like only three popping up at this one. Oh, nope, we got four. Okay. So we're out of there. See how quick that was? Never any real danger for ourselves. Just went in there and knocked them out. Let's go get another mission. All right, we got three on here that I don't mind doing. Um, the Kill the Monstrosities one is probably the toughest of the three, so we're, we're going to kind of maybe knock that, not do that one, but Taming Wild Creatures is super simple, but we're going to eliminate Hazardous Flora. This one's very easy as well. Ah, no, I don't want to continue. Start the mission. Yes, I want to start the mission. Okay. Um, yeah, so this one's fairly easy. You land on a planet. You locate one of those uh, grave markers. Interact with it. And then you have to kill X amount of plants. And they're those uh, plants that attack you. Like the ones that look like the little tentacle. The bulbous ones that shoot poison. And then those ones that look like a big flat Venus flytrap. And, you know, sometimes this one can be a pain in the ass, depending on the type of planet you're on. If the foliage is uh, really sparse, it can get a little frustrating. But generally, it's not that hard of a mission. Um, yeah, just make sure you've got uh, your mining laser geared up and ready to go, and you should be fine. Um, Another thing to watch out for is what type of planet you're going on. This one here is a harsh blue globe. So dioxide is going to be a cold planet. So, you know, it's good to have some kind of protection for your, your character if you don't have any of the uh, shielding for, like, radiation or heat or cold and all that. Then you might want to make sure you got plenty of sodium on you because these planets are generally not very friendly. They're, they tend to be... Uh, have a little bit of a harsh atmosphere to them, so it'll make it challenging for you to get through them if you're not protected. You know, you'll end up uh, with environmental hazards that'll really mess up your day, and that's not fun. Now, just like when we were looking for that building, as I come in here, I try to look for the location of the grave, but the grave is so much smaller. And it won't have an indicator like that, but sometimes it'll pop up if you're low enough. And you'll see it. You know, just kind of... I always just, you know, just do a quick little flyby around the area. I'm pretty sure it shows up on your radar, too. At the top, so that helps. Um, 
but I don't generally waste a ton of time doing this if I don't find it right away. Yeah, I don't see it, so we're going to go ahead and land. Looks like somebody else is doing the same mission. Alright, so, yeah, of course there's a big insurmountable wall there, but that's okay. We're looking for the signal. And there it is. We can see it on the radar popped up already. That little uh, yellow triangle with the atlas in the middle. Good to go. It's a nice little hot planet. So there's that. That looks like our friend made it here first. Okay. So we got to kill 12 plants. That'll be easy enough. And you just hold your scanner down, and it'll show you where they are. If they're in the vicinity of you, you'll get a uh, little indicator on the screen. And where is it? Where is it? We're getting one. There it is. That's what it looks like right there, hazardous flora. This planet's kind of a pain in the butt, but not the end of the world. Here's another one right over here. So anyway, we're going to go through and take down all these, and then we'll uh, be back. All right, well, we wrapped that one up and with the help of our ranger there. We're ranger Sam the Great. 1478, okay. Maybe 1478, you never know. So yeah, we wrapped that one up. That's always a good one to do with a friend, just because, I mean, it can be a little tedious. That planet fortunately had a ton of foliage on it, so we were able to find them everywhere. So we'll go ahead and complete it. And we'll collect our beautiful Quicksilver there. And let's see if there's one more good one for us to do. Now these, oh God, these are great. All right, so these collect activated indium and stuff like that. They're, they're perhaps the simplest and easiest to do. Especially if you're like me and you have a crap ton of resources on your uh, freighter already and your freighter is fully decked out so it can go to any system. And I'll show you what I mean. Oh, that guy stood on top of my ship there. I almost brought him out into space. It would have been tragic. Um, so yeah, let's do this real quick. This one's an absolutely easy one. When this one's a weekend one, it's even better. <laughs> it's stupid. Stupid how easy it is. So we need to go here to this planet and get some activated India. Uh, not sure if I have any on me personally. I do not. There's none on my starship. And my freighter's not in the system. So we'll have to bring this freighter into the system. Um, in just a second, once we land, we'll bring the freighter into the system. I've got it all set up that it can teleport materials to me to the planet's surface. So, you know, if you're decked out and you're ready for these kind of missions, it doesn't matter what I want you to have. Activate cadmium, indium, facium, I've seen all kinds. This one here, probably the quickest mission you'll ever run. It's going to take longer to fly here than it is to do most of the rest of the mission. Now, there's one other step to it, though. It's not just collect it and go back to the... Uh, Anomaly, you got to drop it off at a uh, terminal. But again, it shows you right where it is. You don't have to go running around searching for it and scanning for it and all that kind of stuff. It just says, go here, and then you fly and go there and drop it off. So it will um, take a little chunk out of your collection of indium. So if you, uh, you know, or whatever it is. So if you know, if you want to replenish that, you can stay on the planet and mine it or whatever. If it's no big deal to you, then it's no big deal. I mean, I don't use, I have a stack of it. I don't use it for anything, really. 
and you just gotta land on the planet. Oh, the weather's awful. Alright, so let's land. We hop out. Summon our uh, freighter. If you don't have a freighter and you don't have the Indian, well then this is going to be a little more challenging, but again, it's not not doable. Activated Indium. I forget how much we need. I'm pretty sure it's... Oh, 902. Okay. So there we go. I'll take that 1200, put it in my thing there, and you'll see the mission updates immediately. The mission updates immediately. Okay. <laughs> Then we just got to go to the secure depot, and that again will show up. And we can see it being indicated right over here. Deliver the goods. A 14 minute flight away, but we'll just jump up. And it takes you, what's nice is it takes you to a uh, trade depot. So, you know, while you're there, you can do some other stuff if you want. You can uh, look for ships, you know, look for cool ships. You can buy some goods that you might need, or trade some stuff in that you don't need whatever it's there and once this is done then it's right back to the anomaly and it's just like that so again one of the quickest missions in the game so we'll get down here any stormy uh, planets can be a little rough sometimes finding where you're going especially when they uh, combine that weather with this kind of uh, terrain but is this uh, that's not it. That's not it, is it? Oh, this might not be a... Uh... Yeah, I think sometimes it's not a... Uh... Trade Depot. My bad on that, guys. A lot of times it is. This time... It's not. Where are we going here? Oh, maybe it is. We got a little distance to go here. That weather's got me all thrown off. Alright, I'll get you there. Alright, yeah, it is a trade, uh, trade depot. I thought so, but, you know, sometimes you're wrong. Sometimes things change. Sometimes you don't remember things the right way. So we're here. We go up here. Do this. It prompts us. Boom. Boom. We delivered a 750, it wanted 902, whatever, so if you've went out and gathered it, which it is available on this planet, you can mine it. <clears throat> you still have a little bit left over for your own use or to sell for some money. And we're going back to the anomaly. Okay, so here we go, let's go turn that in. Complete the mission, get our nanites and our 400 quicksilver. Bingo, we are done. Um, this one, I it, like I said, that one's okay. I like it. I don't mind it myself, but I got a great gun, so it's no big deal for me. Unearth Ancient Bones, I bloody well hate it. <laughs> it is such a pain in the butt. You normally have to gather roughly a dozen ancient bones buried under the ground, and excuse me, it seems like they're always pretty far apart. So if you're going to do that one, you definitely want your freighter in the system and you want to have access to a vehicle, one of your uh, exocraft or something like that. That makes that one a little more tolerable. Hacking a sentinel pillar, not that big of a deal, but it seems to glitch on me sometimes. I don't know if that's a problem you guys have faced as well or if it's just something silly I'm doing wrong. And this one, time, Tame Wild Creatures, is hugely boring but very easy to do. Um, it's you know you you land on a planet and you got to feed creatures with uh, with pellets. Um, again, it's one that doesn't require fighting. If in you know you have to go to the planet first. If you, the planet you go to is crappy, but there's a better planet in the system. Let's say it's a super hot planet and you don't have that protection, but there's a paradise planet in the system. All you got to do is land, get out, let it trigger to start feeding, and it'll tell you to feed 48 creatures. It's usually a large number of creatures, by the way. It'll tell you to feed them, and then you can say, all right, well, you know what, screw it, I'm going to go to the Paradise Planet, 
jump back in your ship, fly to the Paradise Planet, just make sure you stay in the same system, land, and then you can feed the creatures there without the threat of burning up or if you got aggressive sentinels or anything horrible on that planet. So this one's really easy. I'm not even going to show it to you because it's so silly, but make yourself a couple dozen of the creature pellets, and when you find a small group of creatures, throw one on the ground because one pellet will feed multiple creatures, and then they'll follow you, so kind of make your way towards another group of creatures, throw another pellet on the ground, and then those creatures will take that one, and then you'll have two groups, and if you can get a third group, you can make this one go pretty quick. Um, every now and then I've been stuck in horrible systems with this one where it's a very sparsely populated planet, or the planet is, it says it's got a lot of uh, fauna on it, but they're all flying or they're all underwater and you can't feed those. These are, you know, your land-based creatures only. So that is that. Well, thanks for joining me, everyone. I always appreciate it. And as always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Belt. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of uh, the video and what your favorite Quicksilver mission or missions are. And uh, if you agree with my choices, that's wonderful. If you've got some other ones that you really like, sound off down below and let me know. I'm interested in hearing your take on these things and do you have a better way to do some of these things than I do. Always up for learning. If you share us on social media, it's always appreciated. We're looking to hit 500 subscribers till at, you know by the end of the year, so if you haven't subscribed already, I would greatly appreciate that. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.